Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at what I think the most optimal way of playing the game is. We're just talking a straight guide with what character you should be using or the path you should be going, what underpass you should be going and then what you should be using while you're growing your account. This is just what I think is the most optimal and what will work best. Alright, let's get into it. So, first you want to go in and you got to choose at at the start you're not going to choose because you're at level zero but at some point you're going to have to choose between warrior archer or mage and what i've seen to work the best is either mage or archer you could go both um there are definitely some things that the that one does that the other one doesn't and archer will help you a lot in clearing levels like in campaign where mage will help you a lot more in the uh, boss aspect and the pvp aspect where i think uh, what just in my opinion archer falls a little bit short at the start and then when we get further up uh, maybe like to level 70 i would actually switch from mage to archer and then go with archer all the way up to level 100 and then while you've hit when you have hit level 100 this is where archer is gonna like insanely pop off like of course, the other ones are going to be good, but Archer is going to be amazing. So, I would definitely go Aragard, the Aragard path. That would be the crossbow path. In my opinion, that's the best one there is. And it's going to help you so much. Um, I can definitely see it when I'm playing Warrior on my free play account. I'm doing nothing. It's going, everything is going so slow. I'm even having, like, the battles in the background because it's going so slow. I can still beat everything because, yeah, it takes so, it takes so long. But you can always go mage. I've seen a lot of good players play mage. But uh, what I see is also that mage get pretty easily beaten by archers. So definitely keep that in mind. I would not go warrior. Warrior is only for after level 100. Then they, then they actually start doing some pretty good things. If you have a lot of counter and a lot of counter attack. Or counter attack damage. So either arrow guard or uh, bishop or holy gu uh, guide is... It's a, it's a 50 50 you can choose whenever whichever you want uh the bishop is mostly for a little bit more damage oriented and the other one is more for the uh, stun and skill uh, reduction like skill cooldown reduction so yeah definitely something you can think about skills wise these skills there's a lot and it can be overwhelming so i'm gonna break them down really quick so we're gonna oh wow didn't mean to do that but fair enough so now you get your first skills you get the, all the blue skills you get all the green skills you get all the uh, gray skills that's what you have right any account that you have you always want to have speed search this is amazing it's going to help you so much the second one you want to go for is the lead of lead lead the charge and it's going to help your basic attack and since you don't have a lot of high counter attack uh, chance or combo chance or skill crit chance you're going to be doing a lot of basic attacks so having this increase your damage is just amazing second you could go for something like the the rock here there's also uh, the th thorn is really good for a campaign because it slows the targets down if you choose to play warrior this might not be the best one because as a warrior when you get further ahead you want them to not, uh, not come slower towards you you want them actually to be quite fast towards you but at the start, you can still use this. So let's put that on as well. The spider is going to do a ton of damage. Same with the trap here. I would go spider. I kind of like the spider more than the trap. But that's just my preference. I I wouldn't use any of these. They're not, not the best. Like I would just keep it like this. And now you got to know what to switch out. So as soon as you get these pings, one, yeah, I would switch them out in instantly and i would start by switching out for the hmm, let's say the entangling uh, vines i would switch that out immediately and then the spider because all the other ones you're actually using of course i wouldn't use this for a real pvp setup because slowing them down is not going to do anything in pvp so yeah just keep that in mind of course when you get bad nature's renewal and shroom shield you want to switch that out too so let's just say you get all three really lucky of course you can buy yourself to it i would it would be something like this 
And you want to keep the speed search and the let it lead the charge because once you have a high Counter Strike if you're a warrior, combo if you're an archer, and skill crit if you're a mage. When you have a high enough of those, like over forty percent, I think you can slow them, slow it down, and not use the lead of charge. But until then, I would still use it. All right, pals. So pals can be just as easily confused, and there are a lot, but. It's pretty nice what they've done. So, as you can see, this deer is really bad. But the deploy effect is the same. If it's that deer or the deer at tier above or the deer at tier above again. It's the same. The deer is the same. So, what I'm going to tell you is just what you have of the rarity. The rarity doesn't matter. It's just that you have it on. So, for any account at the start, I would go for... Um, of course, you got to use your um what's called like class specific pal and right now the mage does not have one uh but archer archer and warrior does so warrior will have the toothpaste and archer will have the banana so i will just take them throw them in immediately i really like them uh, then you want to go for something like the bird uh, i've had the bird already here but just a different rarity because of the attack speed you want the aggressive or like the hydro sprite as well for the active skill region. The cat is really nice to give a little bit more damage, like 200% damage. It's just amazing. And yeah, then you can, if you have the lead of charge and if you have a chicken, you can always use this to get in a little bit more uh, extra attack based damage, uh, basic attack damage, I'm sorry, which will just help you a lot doing these attacks. So. That is kind of one you want to go for. Of course, you're not going to have the same rarities that I do, but use the rarities that you have. If you're a mage, I would use the uh, sprite here, the army, which will give you some more skill damage. You could use that. Of course, you could use deer if you're dying. Snail is pretty good as well in PvE only, like the campaign. And I don't really think that there's anything else. You could use something like the snowball, like the snow sprite here. Reduces enemy attack speed, which is okay. Uh, I like that as well. But at the start, you kind of want to focus only on attack because you're not going to die, really. You're just going to like go ahead and you're just going to burst through everything. Uh, so just think about attack at first. All right. Gear and lamp. So you're going to get a lot of gear. And you're going to get a lot of lamps. And what I would do from the start here is every time you get 6,000 gems... I would go into the store here, it is in the bottom right here, you press the fourth one, scroll down, you find gold, I would buy the 200,000 gold crate, every single time, until you hit lamp level 10. At lamp level 10, I would stop. You can basically get to lamp level 10 in about um, in about a day, maybe two days, I'm not too sure, it depends, like on this account, I think we got it in one, maybe like... 12 hours of continuous play uh, so a little bit under two days uh, because i played like half a day and then reset and then i was already done but yeah i would stop at level 10 and then save up a lot of gems like you just gotta save up a lot of gems all right while you do that you're gonna get some gear and at first it doesn't really matter the substat here like the bottom ones the bottom two here they don't really matter you just want to go for a good attack roll. That is what you that matters. You can see it attack in the second one. That is what you want. Um, as you get higher up, and probably when you hit about legendary immortal gear, I would start like thinking about what stats are actually on it, because you can see here I have a level 70, uh, 7, 73 here, but it's because it has counter strike, and then I have a ninety two that doesn't have right. Which one gives me more? And in my opinion, the Counter-Strike gives me more because I like the Counter-Strike because I need, on a Warrior, I need a high Counter-Strike. So you can see, with already a really bad Warrior account, because this is a bad account, I already have 70. And that is good. Like, I need I, I need to get a, about a 90 to 100 yeah, because I'm Warrior. But that is amazing. And this quick combo is not going to do me anything. Only the attack, but that's only like 500%, and then 500 st uh, attack stat increase. And it's not good compared to what a counter region or a counter mm, 
counter crit rate would do me that would be a lot better so yeah when you hit level uh, legendary or immortal i would start thinking about what actually gear you have on and then try and switch it out of course if you have uh, an immortal gear like this and you get a legendary gear that's worse but has the right stats you gotta think to yourself because sometimes it's not worth doing it if like the legendary has a 1200 attack roll and the immortal has a 2200 attack roll then i would still keep the immortal because a thousand attack roll is really good <laughs> So, that's what I would do. And on day four, when you get this mount upgrade, don't touch it. Just keep your little tiny fingers away. This is not worth doing right away. This will give you a ton of power. But if you wait, it will give you even more power. So, on day four, you unlock this. And you will have to use clock winders. And if you saw it before, you can actually use gems to buy clock winders. And it doesn't matter what bundle you buy, they're all going to be this, come out with the same amount of gems. So that's pretty nice. But on four days to a week after, you're going to have a mount upgrade event, which will give you insane rewards. You will get 8,000. If you complete the whole event, which is so easy, if you've saved up gems and not spent any, if you, then you will get 8,000 of these. And these are so valuable because you can't buy them. You can only get them through events, um, the fish <laughs> battle, and the uh, arena. I don't know if there's any more, but it's very limited how you're going to get them, and you can't really buy them. So getting these is amazing. At first, it will only cost like two per upgrade, so having 8,000 will give you so much. And you can use these whenever you get them. Like, I'm going to use them right now. Because there, are not, there will not be an event for the artifact. There will not be an event. So feel free to use these. But don't use these before the event. Because if you get first as well. You will be getting the uh, Sky Rider Pass. Uh, I don't know what. S SRPs I guess. SRPs. But these are amazing to unlock these mounts. Which will give you so much more. Like a power breaker on a warrior or an archer will give you ignore evasion plus increased crit rate and crit damage per five per second like this is amazing this for mage is amazing as well increases the skill crit rate and after you've done that after you skill you will boost your attack by 20 percent for five seconds that is amazing hot wheels stay away from that <laughs> but what you always also gotta know the amount effect and the extra amount of skill is different from each other so if you unlock this cloud drifter, you will gain, if you don't use it, you will just gain the amount effect. Meaning that on an archer, if you have, if you buy, if you got this, the next one you should go for is the cloud drifter. Because even though you're not using the cloud drifter and you don't really want the extra amount skill, you will still get, gain the global attack. So yeah, that is kind of my idea. Of course, relics is the same. Use them at first just to get this. You only want the mask here, and you only want to get the specific uh, mask for your class. So if you're a mage, go for the increased skill crit rate, archer, combo, warrior, counter. After you've gone those, don't upgrade anymore. Wait for the event, save up all your resources. This game is not a fast, 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 I gotta go. It can be if you're a spender, or you just want to get some fast progress and then let the game die. But if you really want to play it smart follow this save all your resources of course you don't have to save these save these for the event um oh in the mine here go down as far as you can don't go here and click those no no no. go down go down this will increase a ton you can see here like the ratio of ores you will receive like this is insane so after ten thousand, you can go and just mine everything it doesn't really matter at that point what you get but until then, I will just go down. And if there's... Um, I have an event, uh, event calendar that uh, I, I have on my Discord. So if you want to get the event calendar for when the different event is going to come, join my Discord and you'll see them. But until you hit like a uh, 10,000 ish, you'll also get auto mining. But yeah, just go down. If there's two weeks or one week to the event, save up because now then you're going to need them. But else, just go down because it's going to be much more worth it in the further end.
Of course. All right. Of course, remember to fight in the arena. Remember to watch the ads every day for the speed up battle. Same with the skills here. This is the way that you're going to get most of, your, most of your skills. Of course, you can get them through the FK rewards, but eh, you're going to get much, much more here. And I would still watch the draw, draw one these for free every single day by watching the ads, of course, and then save up the rest for an event. As you can see here, I have not saved up a ton, but that's because it's a new account. Plus, I've just had an event for the pal draws. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a subscribe and a like so I know that you like this video. And be sure to use promo code Muji in the App Torch store before making any purchase in game to save a little bit of money and support me in making more of these videos. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.